Okay. So, I have... No idea what I'm doing. What's realistic, man? It doesn't even tell you what realistic mode is. Um, let me find out real quick. Okay, so realistic mode. Hmm, audio might still be an issue. Let's go here. Okay. Something like that, but... Outlines. It disables outlines on enemies and food. I might turn it on later. Let me see what it looks like first. So, Story. Ah, colony color. Well. I think we'll just have to be black pants. Kind of boring, but the colony name? Gosh. Such a tough question. I wish they had a randomize button. <laughs> How about... Um... We'll go with Legion, I guess. Well, okay. What's going ah, on here? I see the queen has taken well to her new home. It, it's fascinating. She has already started to spawn. Incredible, really, that we found such a healthy specimen. How long until we can expect Is to it? see interspecies polymorphism? We should be patient and allow the colony to grow first. I've placed food nearby. Then we will introduce the Formica Fusca and observe their reaction. Excellent. Keep me updated on their progress. Welcome to your Formicarium. This is your hub from which you will launch levels, upgrade your home colony, and put it to the test. Formicarian has two types of resource you will not see in other levels, and you receive more of these by playing other levels. What was that? Oh. Territory limits the number of tiles you can mark for excavation. Ah, this is confusing. Um, there's two types of resources. You'll not see in other levels. Okay. Alright, whatever. From time to time, tips will appear here. Right click. Okay, just need to disable the type. To expand, you're going to need space when no tool is selected. Left clicking on an unduck tile will mark it for. If a worker can reach the tile, they will head to it and dig it out. Just south of your queen is some food. Try marking the tiles between your queen and food for excavation. Beginning to expand their territory. Excellent news. Okay. Maybe realistic mode takes away the numbers, but okay. What do we got? Fancy's foods will pick it up and bring it back to the colony where it could be used. Once it is stored in your nest, the value of the food will be added to your resource counter in the top right. Okay can be spent on tile improvements or hatching new ants. Now you have some resources to consider building some new workers. Select the nurseries tab from the bottom right. Uh, and select the Formica Eruptor worker. You can now mark any dugout areas, worker tile improvements. Don't you spend resource? the crap <laughs> like what territory Worker. 
workers, max workers, and then soldiers. Okay. The queen food. has begun to lay new eggs. An idle worker may bring an egg from the queen to a nursery tile. The egg develops and eventually hatch into new ants. For your, your population is limited to one per nursery tile. When an ant dies, the egg on the tile it was born on can hatch for a cost. Okay, your nest design will affect how your colony ants receive a movement speed penalty when they walk on a nursery tile. So building corridors and closed off rooms, less risk. Ants receive a movement when they walk on a nursery. Okay. Hey guys. Perfect. We will soon have a thriving colony. I like the music, I think. In the bottom middle of the screen is your pheromone marker assignment panel. Your ants are displayed here in groups based on their room and hovering over them will highlight the room. Drag your ants from the nest group into the first group, then right- whoa. That is a lot. Okay. Gotcha. Drag your ants from the nest group into the first group. Then right click on a dugout. Your ants will notice the marker and head to it. Is the level select dialog from here you can see available levels and also top left okay here you can see available levels former carrium selecting a level will take you to a standalone level and winning will provide you with the rewards for your former carrium a former carrium challenge will put your former carrium cut to test to make sure you're prepared before selecting one Far left group in your pheromone marker assignment panel is the nest group. Workers in this group will do jobs around the nest. This includes digging, carrying eggs, and building tile improvements and upgrading them. Yeah, yeah. Levels to choose a level and complete a turn rewards.
Eh. A lot more food storage. Set up a home in a rotten log, but establish themselves would be no simple task. Okay, medium difficulty. Sounds good. Okay, let's do it. Outside of the former carrium, digging is free, and there's no tech tree. These levels are set up with units you can build, and tile upgrades are automatically unlocked. When winning these missions, you will select rewards to take back to your former carrying cup. Interesting. This Formica Fusca queen has set up home beneath a rotting log. She is fat and vulnerable. Her first brood will need to move quickly if the colony is to survive. Their priority now is to find food, and there is plenty around. But there are other hungry creatures down here. The workers will need to be vigilant. These wood worm will not fight back and once killed can be taken back to your nest. They provide 25 food each for your colony. The ants have encountered a pocket of wood worm. These defenseless weevil larvae will make an excellent meal for the colony. They will be butchered and carried off for processing. Let's make a tile here. Okay. And how about here? Okay, not enough food yet. Let's drag those. This colony must remain small for now. Food is too scarce to support greater. Black. In addition to workers, black ant colony can produce soldiers. Ah, these combat units will not perform nest jobs, although they can pick up and harvest food. They deal much more damage than workers have more health. Greater is numbers. Is that these ones? and then we just have black ant. 50 food to place, 5 food to hatch. Okay. Alright, let's uh... Go to the question mark. Perfect. Let's go here. Where can we put food? 
we're just kind of putting it in food stores you can't collect any more food I want some food storage here 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 and here, too. Yeah. Still full of food. You know what? This and I, I have colonies that I find, or I don't find colonies. I find the queens, and I then sell them once they become colonies. But uh, locally, and uh, it's it's fun. I like I like it in the real world, and I like it in this game. This is it's good stuff. My head get in the way. Does spacebar? No. Menu. No. Menu. What if I put my head over here? Make a little more sense. Okay. Is there no save? There's no save on these. Well, maybe I'll just have to keep it in the background. So, let's pause it. Alright, let's see if I can finish this level fairly quickly. I have a good feeling about what I'm doing. It's just balancing resources, right? don't quite know, like, 4 out of 6, 5 out of 6, 5 out of 6. I don't quite understand that. Um, can I upgrade anything? No. So, let's go. What does it say? This tile is surrounded by six tiles of the same type or walls. It can be upgraded. Six tiles of the same type or walls. Ooh. So, like... That's kind of confusing, right? So if I went and did one, two, three, then I could upgrade that and this. Okay, I got gotcha, you. I got gotcha. you. Okay. Um. All right. 
The colony is starving. There's not enough food to feed the new brood. Go here. Go here. We're gonna start. have uncovered carnivorous larvae of Ochipus Olens, the devil's coach horse. They are born ready for combat, with powerful slicing mandibles for chopping up their prey. They are still small, however, and must undergo a final pupation before their armor is fully developed. If the ants are fast, they should be able to overwhelm these critters. If the ants are disturbed the adult of these larvae, the outcome for the colony may not have been so fortunate. They must expand with caution. my food stories either. I didn't know about the six rule. Let's go. There are intruders in the nest. You know what? Let's make sure. Larvae of Devil's Coach Horse will attack ants on sight. They deal medium damage. It would be wise to take on groups of them only when you outnumber them. Their corpses provide 15. Tiles surrounded by level 2 tiles can be upgraded to level 3. Each upgrade makes the ants produced by that tile more powerful. And at level 3, they often gain an extra ability. Design chambers hexagonally and surround them on walls to be able to upgrade to the maximum number of ants. Okay. The ants assigned a fair can be told to not gather food or not attack from the buttons to the right of the assignment. This can be used to stop an attack squad picking up food or to gather food from the heat of make sure to turn these back on once. Okay, okay. So like my battle ants probably let's prevent gathering for now. Predators are loose in the nest. The larvae must be protected. And collect. 
any more food. Here, here. There are intruders in the nest. It'd be nice to have a good store of food somewhere, but figure it out later. Okay. What about speed things? Speed food up top. These wood lice will make a significant addition to the colony's larders, but they are clinging tightly to the ground. It's going to take some effort to dislodge them. Take armor and take their hunker down a bit. Really makes them. Dislodge them. Let's go. Lots of food. Predators are loose in the nest. The larvae must be protected. Okay, no problem. Let's work on upgrade. Upgrade, upgrade, upgrade. I want to get that third just for funsies, but alright.
can gather food for now. There are intruders in the nest. Predators are loose in the nest. The larvae must be protected. Yeah, you say that quite a bit, don't you? Intruders in the nest. Working on it. The workers have done all they can to prepare this brood chamber. Intruders in the oh, nest. Oh, that's a big one. The ants have stumbled into the path of a fully developed devil's coach horse beetle, and it's hungry for breakfast. The beetle is almost four times the size of a black ant, and protected by thick plates of external armor. Whilst it bites at the tiny defenders, it sprays foul-smelling secretions from the end of its raised abdomen, disorientating the ants. The Devil's Coach Horse is dead. Its corpse will provide food to support dozens of new brood. Brood. Alright. Looks like to me I have what's this? Fully grown, it's aggressive. It'll take a large force to take down, but can be harvested by two ants at a time and total 100 food. That's good. Okay. Let's bring these guys forward. Speed tiles. <laughs> Upgrade the last food tile. Okay.
Here we go. Let's go. Predators are loose in the nest. The larvae must be protected. You know what? Let's go with, uh... This. We're gonna go... The colony is starving. There is not enough food to feed the new brood. The ants must protect the queen. So if I were to delete that... The queen has fallen. Her body will be dissected and her untended brood pillaged. Most young ant colonies will end this way. Just another meal for the creatures of the undergrowth. That was cool. That was really cool. Um, okay. All right. Do it again. Uh, uh. This Formica Fusca queen has set up home beneath a rotting log. So she is fat and vulnerable. Down, Her down, first brood will down. need to move quickly if the colony is to survive. Their priority now is to find food, and there is plenty around. But there are other hungry creatures down here. The workers will need to be vigilant. So let's do... Worker. Worker, worker, worker. Okay, and one... The ants have encountered a pocket of woodworm. These defenseless weevil larvae will make an excellent meal for the colony. They will be butchered and carried off for processing. Okay. Work, 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 work. All right, so we have a decent worker there. Um, I wanna say... This would be good, like, food. Alright. Come. Okay. This... Would be good soldier. This colony must remain small for now. Food is too scarce to support greater numbers. Okay. 
the workers have uncovered carnivorous larvae of Ochipus Olens, the devil's coach horse. They are born ready for combat, with powerful slicing mandibles for chopping up their prey. They are still small, however, and must undergo a final pupation before their armor is fully developed. If the ants are fast, they should be able to overwhelm these critters. If the ants are dis termed the adult of these larvae, the outcome for the colony may not have been so fortunate. They must expand with caution. anything to move ants like this? I don't think so. Hey. Predators are loose in the nest. The larvae must be protected. Alright. The colony is starving. There is not enough food to feed the new brood. Working on it. There are intruders in the nest. Okay. Yeah, it's not the greatest. We'll actually go. them to carry some food. Upgrade. Predators are loose in the nest. The larvae must be protected. Alright, I think I know what I need, but I'm gonna go do a different game. I'll see if I can keep it in the background. This is fun. 